Good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Labor Day in the United States. I doubt you have the same holiday or on the same day if it's like this holiday. Like in Canada or England or Scotland, because I know a lot of um, people that watch the channel here are from other countries. So this is our Labor Day, and so a lot of people have the day off. There's no mail, there's no banks, that kind of thing. And two of my guys are off work um, for the holiday. I made a big breakfast. There's, um, you know, those rehydrate potatoes. They're hash browns. I made those. Biscuits from a bag, the Pillsbury ones. <laughs> we like those. There's a bunch of watermelon, bacon, eggs, orange juice. I put out honey and jelly and butter and their hot sauces and the salt and pepper. And that's that. Welcome to my channel if you're brand new. I don't know what I'll do today, but I'll do something. And if you're not new, welcome back, friends. Hey, everybody. Look what my husband just brought in. This is so cool. The first quail egg. Look how tiny. So there's my thumbnail. Very tiny. And it's a, I might say this wrong, celadon, celadon. And they have a gene, some of them, that make blue eggs. So here we are. A blue is the very first one. And, might I add, Labor Day. <laughs> so some little baby quail has grown up and become a woman on Labor Day. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's the little things. Isn't that cute? Prettiest dahlia I have, I think, is this one. And it looks red to me on camera, but <laughs> that one's stressing out and dropping everything it owns. The rainstorm was very hard on these yesterday. It was windy and hard rain, and so it's literally fall. <laughs> anyway, this one's not dropping. It's beautiful. I love it. It's, it looks red, but it's kind of a deep purple. That's that. Here we go. I don't know which one of you ladies graced us this morning, but thank you. That light, light colored one right there, the, there's a yellow and a gray. I think those are both cool. I don't know what's a male and what's a female. I always think the ones that are a little bit um, bossy <laughs> are probably male. I don't know. It could be bossy females. She's pretty. He's pretty. See now, stand up straight and, and do your, your wings like that makes me think of somebody that would like to crow. And I don't know what a crow sounds like, but I hear in the quail it sound it sounds like a bird. Did you hear that? That wasn't a crow. It was just the sweet noise they make. They sound just like birds. Hello. You looking for apple? They enjoyed that apple on a stick yesterday. <laughs> Maybe that's what pushed him over the edge to give us a gift of a, an egg. Would you stick your head all the way out of that cage? He just, they can really move their neck far, far forward. Anyway, they're getting a bigger cage because they have um, really gotten big enough that they need it. A lot of people keep them in this size, you know, but from what I see online, but I think they'll be happier, more fulfilled. And easier to separate should there ever be a problem. See, when you, he just stood up there and did his wings, it always makes me think male. He's, he's like showing his stuff, like strutting. Anyway, there we go. That I just wanted to show you because I think it's cool. I'm going to end my video here and say thank you for watching. If you stuck around this long, stuck, if you stuck around this long, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I love to meet new people. I love to hear about your life. That's just a tarp. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Have a great Labor Day.